Now let us see the introduction of signals and the standard signals. On studying, the students can solve problems based on basic signals and they can construct the complex signals. What is best signals? Signal is one that carries information and is defined as a physical variable quantity that varies with one or more independent variable. For example, that is music and signal speech. The signal may be depend on one or more independent variable and if the signal depends on only one variable that is said to be one dimensional signal. Example, AC power signal, speech signal and AC signals. When the signal is represented as a function of two or more variable, it is said to be multidimensional signal. That is, a signal and image represented as x f of x comma y here x and y represent the horizontal and vertical coordinates and the intensity of the and the intensity of the image varies at each coordinate and the signal modeling the representation of the signal by mathematical expression is said to be signal modeling analog signal a signal which that is defined for every instant of time is said to be the analog signal analog signals are continuous in amplitude and continuous in time it is denoted by x of t it is also called as continuous time signal for examples of continuous time signal this is the example for continuous time Discrete digital signal. A signal that are discrete in time, context in amplitude is said to be this the digital signal that is it is shown in the figure. And now we can see some of the elementary or basic continuous time signal. Step signal for discrete that is for uh, continuous time signal. Unit step signal is defined as u of t equal to one for t greater than or equal to zero and zero for t less than zero. This is a diagram for the, that is this is a waveform for this unit step signal. For discrete time signal, the unit step signal is defined as u of n equal to one for t n greater than or equal to zero and zero for n less than zero. And this is a diagram. This is a waveform for this unit step signal. Ram signal for a uh, continuous time signal the ram signal is defined as r of t equal t for t greater than or equal to 0 and 0 for t less than 0 and this is the representation of the waveform for a continuous time signal in the case of discrete time it is defined as r of n equal to n for n greater than or equal to 0 and 0 for n less than 0 and this is in the case of unit ram signals parabolic signal unit parabolic signal is defined as by using this equation x of t equal t square by 2 for t greater than or equal to 0 and 0 for t less than 0 and this is the waveform for unit parabolic signals unit well signals the unit well signal is defined as r of t equal to 1 for t modulus of t less than or equal to 1 by 2 and 0 elsewhere and this is the unit pulse signal and the impulse signal for continuous time signal the impulse signal is defined by using this equation that is del of t equal to 0 for t not equal to 0 and it is that is minus from minus infinity to infinity del of t dt equal to 1 this is the representation in the case of uh, discrete time signal also that is discrete time signal that is the unit impulse signal is given as del of n equal to 1 for n equal to 0 and 0 for n not equal to 0 this is the representation in the case of discrete time signals sinusoidal signal for continuous time signal the sinusoidal cosinusoidal signal is defined as x of t equal to a cos omega t plus phi and sinusoidal signal is defined as x of t equal to a sin omega t plus phi where omega equal to 2 pi by f phi equal to 2 pi into 1 by t and omega is the angular frequency in radians per second and where f is the frequency in cycles per second so h and a is the amplitude and t is the time to time period in seconds and phi is the phase angle in radians and co in co uh, cosinusoidal signal when all when phi is equal to 0, x of t equal to a cos omega t, this is the waveform. And sinusoidal signal, when, omega, when phi equal to 0, x of t equal to a sin omega t, and this is the waveform in the case of sinusoidal signal. For discrete time signal, the sinusoidal signal, that is cosinusoidal signal, is represented as x of n equal to a cos omega n, and this is the representation. And sinusoidal signal is given as x of n equal to a, a sin omega n. And this is the representation. The sine sort of signal where omega equal 2 pi f equal 2 pi into n by n where omega is the frequency in radius per sample. And m is the smallest integer and f is the frequency in samples per cycles per samples and a is the amplitude. For exponential signal, in the case of continuous time signal, then real exponential signal is defined as x of t equal to a e power a t where a is the amplitude. And depending upon the value of a, we get the DC signals are growing exponential signal or decaying signals. Here, this is the DC signal and this is the exponential signal and this is the exponential decay.
making signals. In the case of exponential signal, for the discrete time signal, the real exponential signal is defined as x of t equal x of n equal to a par n for n greater than or equal to n greater than or equal to zero. That is, this is the decreasing exponential signal and this is the increasing exponential signal. And here, while we were under the third condition, that is, if a is minus my vary from minus one to zero, we are getting the decayed exponential signal that takes alternate sign. And if a is less than minus one, we are getting the growing exponential signal that takes alternate sign. For continuous time signal, the exponential continuous the exponential continuous time signal is defined as a x of t equal to a in the e par s t, where a is the x amplitude and s is the complex variable and s equal to sigma plus j omega, where s of t equal to a in the e par s t, we are substituting the value of s, therefore we are getting this equation as a into e par sigma t cos omega t plus j into sin omega t. Where the sigma is positive, then we are getting this equation, and if it is a real, this is the real term, and this is the imaginary term. While we are plotting different, giving different values for omega and t, we are getting this exponential growing cosinusoidal signal and exponential growing sinusoidal signal. Or when omega is negative, we are getting this value, and while this is a real term, and this is the imaginary term. While we are plotting different values, we are giving different values for omega and t, we are getting the graph like this. That is, this is the exponential decaying cosinusoidal signal, and this is the exponential decaying sinusoidal signal for discrete time signal that is the co the complex exponential signal defined as x of n equal to a par n e par j omega n into t omega naught into n where a par n is given by this equation and we are splitting this into real and imaginary term where this is the exponential decreasing cosinusoidal signal and this is the growing cosinusoidal signal but depending upon the values there here this is the decreasing cosinusoidal signal in the case of discrete time and here the values vary from 0 to 1 here also the values vary from a greater than 1 and this is some of the questions. Thank you.